actually wonder what the motor seemed pretty loud to me. I just wanted to see where the noise was coming from and uh, if I just stop the caps then you can hear the tone change. It's definitely coming from that motor. I mean none of these motors are completely silent but that's uh, a lot noisier than we want it to be really. I suspect that there's um, something in there loose or and so later on I'll take that apart lubricate it, see if there's anything sort of rubbing. So I managed to lose all the video footage of me dealing with this motor. Uh, so slideshow mode, I've got one picture of what it looked like when it was opened. If you've seen my video about the anatomy of the 12 volt motor that I made, then you'll know that commutator is this bit of the top of the rotating armature where the electricity passes from the brushes that are set into the white plastic disc. And that's how the electricity is communicated to the electromagnets on that spinning armature and that's how you get rotation. Um, you can see in this photo the three smaller red arrows are, that's the bits of the commutator that are shattered. The casing, you can see there's a lot of grit in there. I've highlighted the center of the plastic cap with the brushes in it. You can see a lot of grit there. The larger arrow is meant to show where those three pieces of the complete commutator would be sitting. So I think the noise is just that the commutator was just about holding it together so the motor was still rotating but it was causing a lot of friction and that's what all the grit's from. I've seen at least one other video of an MT8X where the owner's complaining about the amount of noise that the motor's making so I do wonder whether these Matsushita motors are susceptible to this in a way that the ones that you get in Tascam's are. The good thing about it when I opened it up is that the little printed circuit board inside the casing of the motor, the little regulator chips in there get all singed, but uh, this one was fine. I've got a significant supply of bits of motor, but uh, the little aperture on the motor casing for the printed circuit board to come out is wider for this type of motor. Also the fixed magnet inside the case is a bit thicker so there was no swap around to do there. I couldn't find a direct replacement for the motor. What I was able to find is an MMI-6S2LS so that is the uh, 1 and 7 8 inches per second standard cassette speed motor. Um, I, I was able to get a new old stock one for not very much money off eBay and uh, what I was able to do was just do a transplant so that I put the working three quarter ips printed circuit board into the new old stock slow speed motor without removing that plastic cap with the brushes on. The, you can end up sort of bending those brushes and then the motor won't work but the only bit that makes any difference between whether it's uh, the slower or the higher speed is the servo board. Um, so ended up reinstalling that into the Yamaha and that worked fine. I just thought I would include this section in case anyone else has got an MT8X and they've got that noisy motor and maybe uh, this is the problem with yours as well.